Now, it's not every day the First Minister visits you at home to chat about your past. But 90-year-old Eileen Young, husband from the Vale of Glamorgan, has had a pretty eventful life. As a 19-year-old, during the Second World War, she found herself in fighter command, tracking enemy aircraft. She detected the first of Hitler's devastating V2 rockets as it fell on an unsuspecting London, and her subsequent actions prevented countless deaths. In her time, she's been a hotelier, an English teacher and even a pig breeder. But in 1940, during the dark days of World War II, Eileen Young husband was making life and death decisions and the defence of Britain was at stake. She served in the filter rooms of Fighter Command, tracking enemy aircraft as they prepared to attack our shores and cities. That information was passed on to operation rooms like these. It was an early form of air traffic control, but without computers. It was saving lives because of the, gave the air raid warnings in time. But in addition, we had so few fighters, so few trained pilots and actual aircraft suitable that without the filter room's information being given as swiftly as possible, we would not have been able to just intercept at the last minute, which is the only way we could have fought the Luftwaffe. By 1945, Hitler's V-2 rockets were having a devastating impact on British cities. Eileen was sent to Belgium to track the launch sites so the missiles could be destroyed. Our job was to extrapolate the curve of the V-2 from the place it landed back to the launch site. And we did that once we knew the fall of shot and we got the position of the top of the curve. We then used a slide rule in geometry to find the launch site, and they managed to destroy them all by the end of February, beginning of March, 1945. Hello. Hello Eileen. Eileen's exploits have won her an army of admirers, including the First Minister. A history buff with an interest in the Second World War, he stopped by this afternoon to hear more about Eileen's experiences. It was a total effort, providing intelligence in monitoring aircraft movements, uh, in making sure that the front line uh, armed forces knew where their opponents were. You can't fight a battle, of course, without very good intelligence. And um, that's why people like Eileen were so important in making sure that uh, victory came in 1945. Eileen's already written a book about her time at Fighter Command, and she hopes her memories will highlight the vital role played by women in small, dark rooms like these in the defence of wartime Britain. Catherine Jones reporting on a remarkable lady.